We just returned from a week-long vacation at Myrtle Beach, and I thought I would show you and talk about what I wore in the pool. We actually didn't get on the beach at all because currently where I live, we are pretty close to, we're within driving distance of a beach, so we don't have access to a pool here, so we, my family and I, we headed to the available pool. Every time we were at the pool, we were there for about two hours. So we'd apply sunscreen, we were there for two hours, and we'd get out and we would leave. I've got some pictures for you to show what we wore at the beach. We're gonna talk about some hats, the clothing I wore. Hi, if we're just now meeting, I'm Melanoma Mom. In January of 2021, I was diagnosed with melanoma skin cancer, stage one, and I had it removed in February. Got a big old scar to prove it, so ever since then, I've been on the journey. That's what this whole channel is about, to look for the best UV sun protection clothing, to look for the best sunscreen, and to talk about life after have, ooh, what was that? I don't know. I think somebody ran over a firecracker from last night. Okay, today's July 4th. Today's July 4th. Some fireworks were set off last night. It sounds like somebody ran over one. So that is my journey, that is my story. All right, so what do you, what do you wanna talk about first? Let's talk about, oh, let's talk about what I'm wearing now. Have you guys seen these puppy love shirts? Oh my goodness, look at the back. Let's see if I can get the back in here. Look how cute. I didn't know about these things. This is like a southern thing at Myrtle Beach. This puppy love shirts where they donate a, pro, a, a portion to rescue dogs. Oh my goodness, here, my daughter, come here. And this one has a unicorn on it. Turn this way. Turn this way. <laughs> Look how cute that is. Let's start with the hat. Since you guys loved my hat video, this is the Sunday Afternoons hat. I wore this in the pool. I don't think this one is waterproof though, but I mean, I wasn't getting my head, my head in the pool. But I love that it has this neck protection here in the back and it has an adjustable to fit to your head. It also has a place for a ponytail if you wanna put one of those or a bun. And it has the chin strap, so it's staying on. And it has a very wide brim. You'll see in the picture that I'm showing up has a very wide brim. So I had that one. My shirt is from, I'll link it down below, but it's the Carve Designs. I ordered this off their website. I loved this. It's so soft. Look at this. I love the pattern. It has the zip here, so when I wasn't outside, I could just unzip it a little bit and let my swimsuit show through. It wasn't hot at all. It does have like adjustable ties on the edge. My neighbors just came out. These are from Coolie Bar and I loved these. The reviews online had a lot to say about how they fall down. Oh, I've got some weird sun, sorry. About how they fall down. These are 100% polyester. I didn't have that problem. They are a little difficult to put on, but what leggings aren't? <laughs> and they have this little, they're UPF 50. They have like this texture here to put up. These were very comfortable. I really loved these. I wore these. That was basically it. I wore this outfit you'll see here on the screen every time we were at the pool. Even though I did bring another outfit, I wore that one the whole time. I like sunscreen. Blue lizard. We put this, I put this on my hands and my feet and the kids, you wore this, didn't you? Yeah. Let me show you a picture of this bottle sitting beside the pool and it detects UV. Look how blue that is. That's how high the UV was that day we were at the pool. This is kind of greasy. It's a all mineral broad spectrum SPF 50 sensitive mineral sunscreen 80 minutes water resistant reef safe but it's a little greasy so I like to use that on our body at the pool it did really well I didn't get burned at all the kids didn't get burned my husband didn't get burned we used this on my face tried and true trusty Australian gold botanical 50 tinted face lightweight this is the lightest shade I love this on my face works great so that's what I used oh and I put the super goop bright eyed 100% mineral eye cream SPF 50 broad spectrum 40 PA plus 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 under my eyes on my eyelids oh and I wore um, sunglasses the blenders these are the blender sunglasses that are polarized and have all the all the protection. I love them. They're great. They're like a plasticky material. They hold up great. That's a big bug out there. Not too expensive. And, oh, I wanted to recommend a mascara, waterproof mascara. I love this Clinique High Impact Waterproof Mascara. This is great. If you get splashed in the face, it's not going to run down your face. <laughs> so I just wanted to throw that, throw that recommendation in there. Today, I have on 
the My Shell Dermaceuticals Sun Shield Liquid SPF 50 Light Reef Safe Broad Spectrum Spectrum Protection in the very lightest shade. I love this. I'm just going to wear this all day as like my foundation. It's 20% zinc oxide and it has a matte finish. If you put two coats on, it works just like a tinted, like a light tinted um, foundation. Is that the right word I'm looking for? It's very thin, watery. Oh, but I do need to warn you. Um, and you'll see this in a future re review, but it smells very metallic, like metal. So that's the only really weird thing about this, and you got to shake it up. And then on my neck and my arms and my legs, I am continuing to love the Native Sunscreen with Zinc Oxide SPF 30. It's not waterproof, which is why I did not take these to the beach. I have a whole review on this. I will link that video in the description box down below. Bye!